Hello and welcome back to the Toronto Website Developer.com. I am PD Warski, the Toronto Website Developer specializing in Drupal. And in the second video tutorial on an introduction to Drupal 8, I want to show you how we can get Drush set up. However, to do that, there's a couple different paths we can go down depending upon what environment you're on. So I'll show you the Linux path and then I'll also show you the Windows path. Before we do that, you'll notice I'm over at Toronto Website Developer.com slash store. Here you can purchase my video tutorial series as I develop them. Uh, I've been a bit delinquent. I don't have two up right now. I had a commerce series as well as a Drupal 7 module development series, which I'd like to get up. Um, each one of the purchases goes to help me to continue to develop these tutorial series, keep them free and keep them frequent. So I greatly appreciate all those that have supported the development uh, thus far and continue to support the development. If you'd like to help out, but you can't afford $20, please just leave a comment or a thumbs up on YouTube. Both are greatly appreciated. I really appreciate the feedback and knowing uh, how these video tutorials can be improved. Now that said, uh, why don't we go over to the blog post that originally helped me out with this. And surprisingly, it's from the bots. It's at Drupalize Me. And so they talk about upgrading to uh, Drush, or rather upgrading Drush to, uh, to work with Drupal 8. And in order to do that, you need to now go over to the GitHub account for Drush. And so when you do that and you look at the instructions, it will specifically mention that you need Composer. So this is where the two paths diverge here. Let's take a look at the Linux path to doing this. If we were doing this on Linux, what we would do is we would go ahead and sudo apt-get composer and we would, we would grab composer. Um, let's just assume we're doing that on Windows. I would just do a composer, uh, composer windows. This is what I actually did and realized it wouldn't work for me. So went composer and I got my um, Windows installer here. And so if you're doing it for Linux, you can go ahead and look at Linux and you can just curl it, grab it, um, and then follow the instructions for this. Now, when you do it on Windows, it will actually give you an executable. So I, I did that. I, um, I installed Composer and then I pointed it to my PHP version. And so if you're walking through this and you want to try that path, uh, your PHP version is going to be wherever you installed the WAMP and then it's going to be in the bin folder. So I'll actually show you this. So here, um, install the WAMP on my D drive, WAMP, bin, PHP. And this is the PHP version that I would point Composer to. And so Composer will install, you'll be all good. And then just like they did on the blog post, you can just from the command line type in Composer uh, Global Require. And so um, I just went ahead and did that. I won't show you it. Um, and it grabbed uh, Drush and then it installed Drush in. So you go to, um, for me, because I'm using CYG Win, CYG Win uh, Home Peter. Yeah, and there we go, Composer. Sorry, not composer. Uh, yeah, no, composer, vendor, drush, drush. And this is where it installs drush. Now, I had the problem on Windows where it installed it. I had to add it to my path variable. So I did that by uh, typing in in the search, just path. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Um, but in the search, type in path and then edit system and environment variables, which will give you the settings. You can go environment variables and path, you can just edit. And then I put in this path here and that got, oops, that got Drush working for me where I could see Drush commands. But what the problem was, uh, I couldn't actually see my site installation. I never connected my site installation. And I'm not sure why that was and I just got kind of frustrated. So again, you're on Linux, you'd be fine right now. Uh, Drush will work, you'll have no problem. It's gonna be coordinated by Composer, which is great. Um, and you're off to the races. If you're on Windows, you're gonna have an issue. So what I did was quick Google search, and of course got back to docs.drush.org, and you can go to the Windows zip package. So here you'll choose uh, 7, 7.00 alpha 7. And so what that will give you is a, is a zip file. And do I have an example here? No, I moved it. So it would give you this, uh, you extract it, and it would have a build folder in there. So I moved my build folder, my build folder to just Drush. So now it's Drush and here's what it actually gives you. And you'll see if you go into is it tools here, uh, it has uh, mysys.bat, which is another command line editor. I wanna use uh, CYG win. So what I did was opening CYG win up. I'm just gonna run it as an administrator here. Bear with me for a second here. I knew if I went to um, CYG win C, Slash drush 
sorry, C Y drive C drush. Oh, come on, C D. And I just typed in drush dot bat. Hmm. Drush dot bat. I'm right there. Anyways, when I typed in drush dot bat, it was working. Um, it's not working now. But what I did was, if you just type in vim, and because I'm using cyg win, you could do this from anywhere, um, no matter what um, command line editor you're using on Windows. Um, my bash rc, and so all that I did was I went to the bottom and I just created an alias for drush, and it points to uh, cyg c drush drush bat. Oh, that's that's probably why. It is. No, no. And then drush dot bat. No, okay. Anyways, forget that. I, I, I'm trying to show you that. Anyways, created the alias. So now if I just type in drush, it will actually execute the new drush that I downloaded, not the composer drush. And so if I go to D8 and I type in drush status now, I can see that it actually is connecting to my site um, and it's using the proper uh, drush that I told it to use and uh, everything is great. So that's how I have Drush set up for a Drupal 8 site. And just to prove that it's working, if I go and just like they were trying to do here, let's download the page manager. I can go, this is actually not gonna be a good example because I know it's not gonna work because I don't have the tar stuff, I believe, uh, installed. Oh no, it did work. Okay, that's great. Uh, so I forgot I said anything. So now if you go into, uh, let's go into modules. You can see that I have page manager there. And Drush is working great. Um, so that's how you get Drush installed. Uh, it's very quick on Linux. You really shouldn't have any issues on Linux. Uh, Windows is a little bit more painful. So just to recap, uh, you wanna go ahead, go to the Drush uh, docs.drush.org. Um, go ahead, grab the 7.0 alpha version, and then put that wherever you're gonna put it. And whatever command line you're using uh, to use Drush, just uh, create that alias to wherever you put Drush itself uh, and just link it to drush.bat. And then that way you're always using uh, Drush and uh, you should be good to go. You'll save a lot of time. And that's it for this second video tutorial. Hopefully it helped out. Uh, if you have any issues, I mean, there's probably a lot that you're gonna run into. Leave a comment on YouTube and I'll do my best to help you out.